How's it going guys? So I'm currently in Lanzarote, one of the Canary Islands far, far south from the UK. And I'm out here today to do a little bit of rock pooling. I've got around about six hours, so I'm hoping we can find some really cool species. My name's Adam and welcome to Naturescope. So the main point of today is to try and find something that perhaps we wouldn't usually find in the UK. The Canary Islands, including Lanzarote, are all made up of volcanic rocks and most of them have a volcano in the middle. You may know Timor Fire, which is the volcano zone in Lanzarote. But here is all black rock, which is all old volcanic rock, which means that there's lots more cracks and crevices for things to hide in. So it's a lot more difficult to spot rock pool animals, in my opinion and there's a lot less rocks to lift. In the UK, if you go rock pooling, there's plenty of big rocks to lift. Here, there's not too many. It's all sort of merged together and formed from where I'm guessing the lava used to be, which formed the rock. So yeah, let's hopefully find something cool. It may be unsuccessful, but I'm really just looking to see how it compares to the UK, and hopefully we can find something that we wouldn't normally see. So I've just found the top of a crab. Now I've seen a lot of these already out rock pooling. But there's so many little cracks and crevices that they can hide in. I've been struggling to actually pick one up or catch one. I found the top of the shell. The eyes are still in there, which is really creepy. But yeah, look at the dots on it. It's a lot different to any crabs you get in the UK. And it's this beautiful sort of purpley blue color in the center. And this shell has just fell on me. But <laughs> we'll, um, We'll try and get an idea on to exactly what it is, um, but it's a very, very cool crab. I'm hoping that I can catch a real one, but it seems that they're very elusive and really hard to get a hold of. I've now found a dead, but much more intact version of the crab we found before. So you can see the colours on it are really similar to the volcanic rock, and that's just purely, I'm assuming, for camouflage, so that it's harder for birds flying over to see it. It's got some beautiful whites, browns, and almost sort of purples on the leg. And then the, the front sort of claws have reds and, and purples on as well. This huge oil drum has washed up not too far from the sea. So I wonder if that's been brought in overnight. I hope the oil from it hasn't or isn't going to spill, obviously, into the rock pool and then out into the sea. In reality, a barrel this size isn't even going to touch you know that amount of ocean but you'd still rather it not end up in the sea and have someone clear it i'd try and move it myself but i'm just one person um so i'll try and find out who to report that to if there even is any sort of authority that deals with that stuff here on lanzarote but yeah a bit of a, a worrying sight on the rock pools There's some really cool salt crystal formations. Now, obviously in the UK, it's quite cool. So when the tide goes out and in, it's never really hot enough to dry out the water that's there. But here in Lanzarote, it obviously gets really, really hot. On a winter's day, it's about 20, 23 degrees. So it means it can dry out the rock pools before the sea comes back in, which leaves these really cool sort of salt crystal formations. In this rock pool, there's lots of these weird sort of jelly things. I'm not quite sure what they are, and I'm not going to touch one. Just in case, you know, it's a bit of jellyfish or whatever, and it stings me. Because I really don't know what's out here. But yeah, you can see sort of veins running through them. Really bizarre looking. Almost like the little comb jellies we get in the UK. Sort of, I think that's a bit of a worm. But yeah, really odd. I'm going to do a bit of research, try and find out what they are. So one of the reasons I really wanted to come rock pooling in Lanzarote was because of this. This might be the only place in the world you can rock pool underneath a flight path. to find 
find some sort of goby. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm going to try and get the GoPro in there so we can get a better look at it. But it's quite a big one. Right, I won't lie to you, this has been an absolute disaster. There is stuff here, but by the time I spot it or get close to it, it's scurried underneath an edge. And I'll show you in a bit more detail what I mean. But it's really hard for me to film and get a hold of stuff. Or, you know, just, just get close enough with the camera when there's so many little cracks and crevices for it to hide in. I found plenty of, you know, d dead stuff. Um, which has given us a little bit of a closer look at what we could see but it's been really really difficult i'll show you now so this is a prime example sort of what i've been dealing with so as you can see that in this there are one or two stones to pick up but there's nothing underneath them i'll show you here there's nothing underneath there at all and that's been sort of the story with every single one but that shelf there has got absolutely loads underneath it Another really good example here is, we've just seen something move there, so there's things all underneath these little shelves, and without some sort of stick, I have no chance at getting them. So it's a bit disappointing really, I'm seeing stuff but it's too quick for me to film or, you know, it's gone before I get close. Don't get me wrong, this is sort of a problem in the UK, but I find that when I go out rock pulling in Wales or wherever it is, if I pull up a rock there you're likely to see something whereas here just nothing is showing up <laughs> nearly fell over there um, yeah nothing is showing up at all it's really disappointing because I know there's some cool stuff here I've researched online before I came um, I'm gonna keep trying and I might try over the next few days but as it stands this might be might be it so I did try a few more times over the next few days to go out and get some more rock pulling clips but it just wasn't happening, it was just too difficult for me. It might be different in the summer, I went in January, which of course is like the middle of winter, so it may be you get some different things there, things that are easier to see during the summer, but when I was there it was just too difficult. So what I decided to do was head out for a little snorkeling session in Lanzarote to see what we could find, and we found some amazing things. So this is where I'm gonna be snorkeling today, just inside this little bay here, down at Porta del Carmen in Lanzarote. Excellent views of the uh, mountains in the distance. But I'm hoping we should see a fair bit around here. The snorkel started off with this huge shoal of fish passing by. Just look at how well camouflaged this flatfish is. Towards the end of the clip you can barely even see it amongst the sand. The colours on this ornate wrasse were incredible. The really bright blues and greens and yellows in some spots. What a colourful fish. In the distance I spotted something that was almost moving like an alien spaceship. I had a feeling I knew what it was, but I'd never really seen one up close, so I swam over to it and it turns out I was right. It was an incredible experience getting to swim alongside this cuttlefish. If you look closely, you can see the cuttlefish changing colour to better camouflage in with its environment. Cuttlefish are just amazing animals. They're cephalopods, which is the same class as octopus and squid. The cuttlefish then darted away off into the distance but there was still lots more to see. The waters were really clear, but as you can probably tell, the current was quite strong, so it was difficult to swim, but there was lots of coral around which attracted the fish. This is a red-lipped blenny. You can tell by the entirely black body and then the red fins. I tried to get a look at the lips, but unfortunately it swam away. I'm ending the video on footage of one of the most common fish in the Canary Islands, the Canary Damsel. They're really characteristic and easy to spot. They're almost entirely black, but underneath they've got this blue electric colour. Well, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like, it really helps us out. Comment down below if you think it's much different to the UK or you think it's quite similar. And where have you been rock pooling in the world that was just amazing and I really need to go to. Remember to subscribe to Nature Scope to not miss any more future videos. We've got lots coming this year. We're going for weekly uploads every Saturday at 6pm. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.